So I'm currently just trying out an, a few of my pieces from my book, from one of my books. And I want to do some sort of B-roll to go with the video that I will be sharing on, vid on YouTube. <laughs> so this is the maxi dress in the book, the demo one that I use for writing the instructions so you can see that the insides aren't yet finished. Later on, I'll take my time to finish off the, like the raw edges, but I love this dress so much. Hope you're doing well it's a new day well it's a new evening you might be wondering why i have this amount of bobbins to fill up and why i might have like used up the whole <laughs> the whole real it's not the whole thing but i had quite a lot on here well i'm on a mission to finish sewing about how many have i got to sew one two three four six blankets so i have a commission that i'm working on and it's with a brand i worked with them last year to promote celebrate and making things by hand like handmade things and um you know crafts people um, it was myself a chef i think i shared about it here on the vlog a few months ago so it was myself a chef and and this guy who makes art out of plastic bottles like old plastic bottles obviously so i i got like they came back again because they had um unused and unclaimed christmas jumpers they decided to use them to make um blankets for um the outdoor areas of um pubs and restaurants and that type of thing that obviously that stock their brand of whiskey I am feeling very grateful that I have been given the opportunity to um, take part in this commission in addition to uh, an ad like um, 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 sponsored content on Instagram. Actually, do you know what? I'll put the image, I'll put a short um, clip of the reel here on the screen so you can see it. has to be done because it will get picked up under a week tip of the day if you have a big project to do whether it's like a 13 blanket project or or a a big dress project or a small whatever it is it's always safe to make like to fill up more than one bobbin with the color thread that you need and um, especially if you don't have like similar bobbins already filled because it reduces the amount of time you spend faffing around trying to like fill a bobbin when you are mid project. You know that time when you're like really neck deep in a project, it's really flowing and you're enjoying it and then the bobbin thread finishes and you have to pack things, pack things away and um, fill up a bobbin. Anyway, I know it might not be a big deal to people but to me it is. So I'm going to be out here, listen to some music probably listen to a podcast or when I finish a podcast I'll move on to 
um something on youtube here i'm currently actually i'm enjoying currently watching Shade. well i didn't realize i had my scarf that low anyway it doesn't matter um yeah i've been enjoying watching Shade. Shade is so much fun Shade shannon or well, she has a diy channel and i absolutely enjoy her channel so let's plumb the camera in the corner and get on with the projects <laughs> I stayed up all night finishing off the commission um, my husband was home today so he was here when the courier came to pick it up so it's been picked up now I feel free now <laughs> and um, the package has been removed taken away and sent to the brand I have cleaned this room like I had to do a very very deep clean um, there was just fluff everywhere um i thought i'll clean up the space because that's one of the things that i like to do when i feel like i'm losing my mojo when i haven't made anything for myself i try to make this place into a lovely sanctuary so i feel in the mood to make anyway that said i want to show you all the things that i've gathered over the time like over the past few weeks that i've just dumped in my basket this basket is actually supposed to be for like current projects or for my ironing stuff and uh, well and other bits and pieces first things first i had to replenish my scotch tape now if you are someone who does a lot of pattern adjustments or any kind of work with sewing patterns or you in uh, make patterns bigger or smaller and you need sellotape i would recommend this type of tape because it's easy to write on and um yeah you can write or draw on it on like clear sellotape like the one i have there on the craft um carts over there so i've got a replenishment is that a word i've got quite um i've got two now two extras of the flexi rulers by prim the other two the other two are gifts like i got this one oh actually not gifts the first one's a gift 
as part of a, the goodie bag that I got from the Prim event. And this one here, okay, so you know when you are um, commissioned to do some work, some brands like to give you the materials that are required for the for the work, and some brands would rather um, factor it into the cost of materials. So when you send your invoice, you would factor everything together, tax and all of that. So um, when I did the work with Prim, or like most of the work I do with Prim, they would send me the products, which is really nice, I like that. But what, what happens is I have more than I need. Because I only need one thing, one of each thing. So I haven't given anything away this year, have I? Oh yeah, I actually have fabric. Yeah, African wax fabric. I gave away a stash of African wax fabrics to this lady who makes um, jewellery. I don't think it was this year, I think it was last year. Anyway, um, I haven't really given, I like to give, I like to give to, back to the community. So if anyone here... Ooh, maybe, uh, okay, I'll curate a, a basket of things to give away. So if you are interested in getting, um, in getting crafty bits and pieces for yourself or as gifts to other people who you want to, who you want to draw into making for themselves and sewing and that type of thing, um, then leave, uh, leave a hands up emoji like this i'll put it I'll put it on the screen so yeah leave a, a hands up you know the one that goes like that um i love that that's one of my favorite emojis yeah leave that in the comment section below and then i'll just like pick randomly who it will get sent to um i will send do you know what wherever you are in the world i'll send it to you just you just have to and um, we'll just liaise via email and i'll send it to you I might even include one a copy of one of my books that's what i'll do and i had to replace not replace but get um Oh, they, I got the mini ones. Anyway, it was same same thing, but they're just mini ones. I guess that's actually better because they do dry up quite quickly. So I got some more um, super glue just in case. Not just in case for when the need arises, because I live in a house with <laughs> other people who tend to break things, including me. <laughs> um, next thing, I was gifted. This fabric here by the amazing Jess Life, who is also a YouTuber, an American YouTuber who's based in the UK, and she gifted this to me. This is a strap and this is some fabric. This fabric here Jess gave me to make anything of my choice. I love green. I don't know how she found that out, but which is that's amazing because green is one of my faves. So she sent these fabrics to me to make anything lovely for myself. So I think this would be ideal for some probably cushions, like garden furniture. This is ideal for a cushion. This is the right size or the right dimension. So I'm going to make some cushions for myself. And I'm actually thinking maybe these green with a touch of African wax. But I need to find the right shade. So thank you very much, Jess. Jess is actually a gaming um, or tech. No, she's more like a gaming girl. <laughs> she she does gaming content, but we hooked up via um, one of our classes on, um, and we belong to the same WhatsApp group, and we are part of the YouTube Black Voices creator class of 2022. So she sent those to me, which is so kind of her. So I am going to make something nice, and maybe I'll make a video out of it. Thank you, Jess. And this is just the bag strap. So I'm going to use this bag strap um, to replace one of my bag straps. Me likey. I'm trying to do some decluttering when I have to do all the checking and the final, well, the final check, um, check of the book. I got one of these from my editors and um, I got to read what was in the book just to make sure everything is in the right place before giving the final so i don't think i still need this um i mean i have copies of the book but i know this is good for memory's sake but most things i i have to decide decide on what to do with this one here because um i'm trying to like declutter and reduce the amount of things that i have in the room that i don't use just to make it a lot more manageable anyway i made these pockets as part of the sewing weekender and um oh my goodness what did i do here 
<laughs> um, anyway, I made these beautiful pockets. Do you know what? I'll leave a little clip of the video here on the screen. But I don't think I'm going to be using them for any projects. So I'll just give them to my daughter. She likes to collect scrap fabrics. I'm saving this one because I might use this as part of whatever I make from this fabric here if that makes sense. Then I went ahead and got myself some neutral gingham, which I've been looking for for the longest time. I really love this tone. It kind of blends with my skin tone. Not really, it's kind of mustardy brown. I like it. Actually, do you know what I'll do? I'll put it where it's quite visible in my beautiful basket over there. Now, this is a proud moment for me because I can't believe that um, a sewing pattern that I was part of. Actually, this sewing pattern is my design and um, it's on a sewing pattern packet. And I'm, I feel so, so grateful to have a pattern that I have designed in a packet. And it just opens my eyes to what is possible and what I can do if I put my mind to it. Um, <laughs> actually, this is new. This is new to me and um, it's happy news to me. I have finally been granted my application to become a part-time teacher at my school, which means that I have more time to the family. I have more time for a bit of a balance, a bit of balance. I have um, more time for my daughter, really, really important for me. Um, and, but then what, what that means is I'll be able to, um, you know, get a bit more involved in her school life in her education because when you're a teacher all your time and your effort and your attention is given to your class and um, I teach children who are actually the same age as my daughter so I'm always in school I leave home like 6 30 6 45 and I get home well pick her up at about 5 30 6 o'clock so we don't really spend a lot of time together apart from the weekends and then you know how it is with my weekends when I have my spare time to myself I'm always in here and um, so I'm so happy that I get to have part-time work I feel grateful that I can that it's because I feel like it's a luxury for a teacher to be a part-time teacher if you're a teacher let me know in the comment section how did you navigate it when you and um, when your kids were younger or if you're doing it currently let me know in the comment section but I feel grateful that I can be you know part of her school life and um, which is something that I really want have always wanted to do but just couldn't afford to you know fam <laughs> I mean family is important right so I feel grateful for that so I'm gonna be working three days a week so you my YouTube family will be seeing a bit more of me because I I can then probably do more vlogs like this and share my weekly life with you and all the crafting that I might do or that I get to do in the evenings weekends and that type of thing and I'll be I feel like I might be less stressed Anyway, going back to this, it would then give me time to do little things like instruction writing if I want to or develop something. Um, let me know in the comment section. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I would be really interested to know. I, um, but I feel really grateful for all of you. It's every day I count my blessings, right? But yeah, so it's here. So this is one of the sewing patterns and this is by BH7 Patterns. It's called the Litmus Jacket. But yeah, this is the pleated dress from the Sewing Bee Book that has been put into a pattern packet and that is me. Yay! So this is not going anywhere. It came as a free pattern in the magazine, the Simply Sewing magazine. And it's just so, so um, unreal, you know? So this, the pattern is going into my pattern basket and this is getting a place in my stool. My, um, I've got this, got this um, stool where I put my magazines, you know, like a, a magazine rack that is also a stool. So that's going away there because it's not going anywhere. It's here, it's here to stay. This is some fabric that I used as a toile to make a version of the um, dress from Prim. Prim's website 
and um, it's it's a bit too small for me but it worked out because I used it as a test just to make sure that it worked and the sewing pattern and everything worked before I went ahead to create the video that is on Prim's website oh no on Prim's website and on Prim's YouTube channel I'll leave the link in the description box below right I am going to move on now to other things I have some writing to do tonight before bedtime so I and I, I also have I have this project that I have been um, <laughs> procrastinating on making so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna find time to make this now that I am a bit more free so all the things that I have on this table from this basket are things that I want to work on or finish off in the near future and I will share with you how I get along with making them but for now let's go to work